We are going to look at what we need to do to get your sticker ready to be cut out by the vinyl plotter. So a couple things we need to do is simplify and just make sure that the plotter is going to be cutting out what we want it to. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select these shapes right here and I can just see right now where the red goes is where the plotter is going to cut. And I can see that I need to simplify this and I need to do some merging and different pathfinders to these shapes. The first shape I'm going to take care of is this ear. And when I select it, I can see that it's filled in with white and it has a black stroke or outline on it. I'm going to take away the fill and right now <clears throat> the vinyl plotter will cut just that one line where the where the red shows up. To change that so it cuts on the outside of the shape, I'm going to go to Object, down to Path, and I'm going to Outline the Stroke. And when I click on that, you can see how that changes the shape, and now it's going to cut on the outside of that shape, which is what we want. Moving on to our next piece here, the inside of the eye was just made by layering a triangle on top of a circle on top of another circle. So we need to simplify that and make it into one shape. And I'm going to start by selecting the triangle, holding down shift, and selecting that circle. And this is where I'm going to need to go to Pathfinders. So I'm going to go up to Window and bring out my Pathfinder window. and for this one, I think I'm going to need to merge it. So I'm going to click on Merge, and it looks like it has simplified that shape for us. The next one we're going to go on to is uniting this with the circle behind it. So I'm holding down Shift, clicking on that one, and Unite doesn't work, so I'm going to do a Control Z and we'll try to merge again. Looks like Merge did what we wanted it to. We can go back and check and click on here. The next thing I'm going to do is select that whole shape again and I want to make sure that the plotter isn't going to cut out right here and cut through the shape. I don't want that to happen. So Selecting both shapes at once, and we're going to try merge again. And I'm going to hit it one more time, and it looks like we made it made it look like we want it to. Next, let's check out the nose. When we select the nose, um, I can see that it has a stroke on there and a fill. We're going to take the stroke off because that's going to that's going to complicate things. So I'm going to turn that off. And onto the mouth. When I select the mouth, I can see that it would only cut one line right here. And I want it to cut on the outside of that shape. So I'm going to go back and do Object, Path, and I'm going to outline that stroke. So that changed how that one's going to be cut. Finally, I'm going to go down to our letters down here. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to make outlines out of that. So create outlines. Now the plotter is going to know where to go. At this time, though, the, the type can't be changed if you want to. You can resize things, but if you wanted to edit your type, it would be too late at this point. The last thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our, our design is going to fill the entire artboard. So I'm holding down shift when I'm resizing something to keep the proportions and I'm going to make it just about as big as it can be and still fit on the artboard just because these stickers are going to be a little more successful the bigger they are at making sure the vinyl plotter is able to handle them. And I'm going to just copy this one over and 
control Z. I'm going to copy this one over and just end up reflecting it so that I know I have everything taken care of on there. And now we are ready to put our design on the server and head to the back room and have our helpful TAs cut out our sticker for us.